there are some people out there who say that there are so many hypocrites in the church that there are so many bad people in the church that there are people who have sex before marriage in the church yes think about it what is church for church is for to teach people about God so that they can change sometimes some people change quicker than others does that make any sense church is not for the perfect church is for the unperfect and think about this you are saying that there are hypocrites and all of these bad people in the church how about yourself are you telling me that you do everything right of course not everywhere you go I don't care if it is college if it is work if it is anywhere else you are going to be around hypocrites you are going to be around people who have sex before marriage so on and so on so why don't you quit your job when you see people who are hypocrites why don't you quit your job when you see people that lie and cheat and stuff like that but you are going to quit your church or stop going to a particular church when you see hypocrites there when you see bad people there and stuff like that now let me say this if the person who is preaching is lying and cheating and stuff like that that is something else then yes you have to go to a different church because you cannot be around or be under a pastor or a minister who is doing things like that give me a second please yes you can't be around a minister or someone like that that lies while they are teaching and stuff like that that is wrong but if you are speaking about other people who go to that church as in like the regular members there of course they are going to be somewhat evil you have to expect that if anything if things get really bad just separate yourself from them that's it the same thing that you do at work or at college do the same thing at church you don't have to be around those certain people you don't but to say something stupid like there are hypocrites in the church come on now of course there are liars in the church of course of course if there were no hypocrites liars cheaters scammers so on and so on you should really be concerned about that church like is this church doing what it is supposed to do just because a person looks like a Christian does not mean that they are a Christian a person can speak like a Christian a person can dress like a Christian a person can squawk like a Christian does it mean that they are a Christian of course not so why are we continuing to be deceived you can't say that a Christian is a hypocrite because by definition a hypocrite I mean a Christian is a person who follows God a person who follows the rules and regulations of God so how can you be a hypocrite and a follower of God it makes no sense so they are not a Christian they are a sinner does that make any sense so Christians are not hypocrites people who go to church are hypocrites 
not everyone. Does that make any sense? We have to take note of who is a Christian and who are not Christians because we cannot continue to mix up sinners who look like Christians as Christians. I really hope that makes sense. So really take heed to this. Go back to church. Because if you are not doing everything right, who are you to say that there are bad people in the church? There are bad people everywhere. So make, so to make an excuse that, hey, I am not going to church anymore because there are bad people there. Come on now. That looks poorly on you. It is better to say that you have no interest in going to church right now. That sounds a lot better than, well, I'm not going to church because there are hypocrites there. Come on now. That sounds really silly. Very childish. Just say that you don't want to go to church right now because you want to do whatever you are doing now. That sounds a lot better. Okay, God bless.